Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Syngonium podophyllum, the arrowhead vine that you see around me over here. My name is Mikhail and I'm from Gardens by the Bay. I'm filming this from my home so you can see my dog right here. He doesn't want to move so we're going to try and do this without him moving. Uh, I'm from Gardens by the Bay and you've joined me today for bringing the gardens home. In this series, I hope to introduce some of you to my houseplants uh, in a hope to inspire you to grow some plants in your homes as well. This is Syngonium podophyllum. It's one of the easiest houseplants to grow and it's one of the first houseplants that I've had in my home. The reason for this is they're really very, very commonly available everywhere. In fact, this one over here, I bought in a supermarket. If they're available in supermarkets, they're really available everywhere. I really like them because they're very easy to take care of. They like even moisture conditions, which means you can water them fairly frequently. And they're very well adapted to our climate. They are native to South America, uh, from Mexico all the way down to Ecuador, in lowland tropical rainforests, which have the same climate as Singapore. They like this hot, humid weather that actually we humans don't really like that much. Uh, but that makes them really good as houseplants. A lot of them are adapted to living on the forest floor, um, which is why some of them can take really low light conditions, especially those with very dark green foliage. Speaking of foliage colours, they come in a variety of colours from white and cream and silver to pale pink, all the way down to very, very deep reds. Uh, and of course, a variety of shades of green, including this chartreuse, almost yellow one that I have over here. They are very uh, tolerant of low light conditions, but they will grow quite a bit faster in higher light conditions. This chartreuse one, um, as you can see over here, I've just snipped it off uh, about an hour ago. Uh, it was growing in my vertical garden that I have outdoors, so it gets really quite a lot of light. Uh, and they seem to grow much faster and more compact in a lot more light. The one in my bathroom I've had for a while, uh, it hasn't really grown that much admittedly, but importantly for me and for some of you out there, um, it hasn't died. That's the best part of it. Um, they are uh, very tolerant to various things, however I must say some of them are prone to mealybugs. Uh, mealybugs are the little white, uh, almost like little balls of tissue paper. Uh, it's a bug that exists and it, it tends to infest them underneath uh, the foliage. Now, they are prone to this, so please do check your plants every now and then. But mealybugs are one of the easiest pests to get rid of. Um, you need to spray them lightly uh, about twice using what we call white oil. So white oil is a vegetable oil mixed with a surfactant. So the easiest way to do this at home is to mix a couple of tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil, any vegetable all will work uh, with about half a tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Mix it up with about a litre or a litre and a half of water, give it a good shake and then start spraying your plants. Two sprays should kill off all the mealybugs that you have. An interesting thing about Syngoniums is that they will develop uh, what we call juvenile and adult leaves. So the leaves that you see over here are all juvenile leaves, giving it the common name arrowhead vine. So as you can see, it's sort of a lobed triangle over here. But if you let them grow uh, up a vine, so they will after a while produce a vine that you see over here. I've cut this one off to propagate it, but it will produce a vine. If you let the vine climb up something, now if this is outdoors in your garden outdoors, it will climb up a shrub or a tree or a fence. Uh, but indoors, you need to give it a pole of some sort to climb up. But once it's climbed up, you'll start to see that its leaf shape changes significantly. It will get many, many more lobes uh, and it will form adult leaves, which are very, very different, giving you quite a nice surprise. So all in all, this is a great houseplant, especially for beginners. It's really very hardy, very easy to take care of. And interestingly, it comes in about 20 different uh, varieties that are commonly available. There are more varieties than this, but they're a little bit rarer and harder to find. So if there's a collector or a hoarder inside you, this might be one of the houseplants that you might want to get. Thank you. Join us again soon for our next episode.